Good morning, you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my realistic pregnancy morning routine being in the second trimester. So I usually wake up about 7.30 to 8 o'clock. And the first thing that I do is I thank God for waking me up in the morning. And then I usually just start scrolling on my phone. I don't go on social media. I'll just check my YouTube analytics or look at my Bible app. But I try my best not to really scroll too much because then I'll be sitting in the bed for all day. And I know most of us can relate. So I usually just either go back to sleep or I just, you know, kind of relax, sit in the bed for a little while. Then when I finally do decide to get up, I chug down some water. Now, when I was in the first trimester, I could not do this. But being in the second trimester, I'm not as nauseous. So I can chug down some water because your girl be thirsty okay so a new thing that i've been trying to do as of lately is stretching i notice that when i wake up i have a lot of aches and pains or just my body just feels more achy i'm currently four months but i'm 15 weeks and i think a day when i filmed this video so yeah i noticed getting into the second trimester i'm a bit more achy i am going to be getting a pregnancy pillow soon but yeah for now i'm just like stretching and just getting prepared for the day ahead I don't know about y'all but your girl loves a good robe now my robe was a little wrinkly I did switch out my robe later in the video um, but this one actually matched the set that I had on but I was kind of mad that it was a little wrinkly but nonetheless I put my robe on and then I get to make it my bed now I have a very minimal bed I don't have like a headboard or nothing because I just I don't know I don't like a lot of stuff so I just like my bed to look very minimal but since it's summertime, I don't sleep with a big comforter. I have a blanket underneath and then like a thin blanket over top. And for me, it works out perfectly. I don't get too hot or too cold in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, like I said, because it's summertime, it's getting to summertime, I just be too hot in the middle of the night. So this blanket is perfect for me. So I just make my bed. It also helps me to not like lay down as much because in the first trimester, I spent a lot of time sleeping. So the second trimester, I'm just trying my best to find ways to keep me like active and awake. All right, so moving along, we are gonna do what most people should be doing in the morning, which is brushing your teeth. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. Now, I wanted to add this in because in the first trimester, I struggled a lot with like nausea, but since I've been in the second trimester, I haven't really struggled much with it. But for some reason this day when I was filming, brushing my teeth made me super nauseous. And I was really surprised by that because like I said, I haven't been nauseous as much. So I wanted to keep these clips in because this is a realistic pregnancy routine when I tell y'all I was so shocked like for some reason brushing my teeth this day was super triggering I think it's because I brushed my tongue I don't really know but I did end up throwing up sorry if that's TMI but girl this is realistic at least I didn't show it but yeah I was really really going through it and honestly I was a little scared because I was like I do not want to be going through this okay I thought I got rid of her so let me know if you are also pregnant and if you are still experiencing nausea in the second trimester I know for some women they experience it the whole time and for some women it goes away so I'm just hoping that this was just a rare thing but I was good to go after I got myself together but girl Okay, so after my shower, I'm going to do my morning skincare. My skincare is pretty much the same for morning and night, except I just use this eye serum in the morning time. Um, I'm actually running out. I need to get some more. I got this from Marshalls. So I'm going to apply that under my eyes, and that felt so freaking good. Then I'm going to go in with the Skin Method Face Serum. This is the Rejuvenating Face Serum. I really love this. And I can only find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, so anytime I find it, I pick it up. 
So I apply this in the morning and at nighttime. I like to keep my skincare very simple. So I use a face serum and then I'm going to go in with my moisturizer. The moisturizer that I use is by e.l.f. It's the Daily Moisture Holy Hydration Moisturizer. This does have fragrance in it, but I really like it. It doesn't irritate my skin. I think it's only $8 at Target. And I just really like this. It makes my skin feel really good. And yeah, I just can't go wrong with it. I love the price as well. It's very affordable. And then of course, you guys cannot forget the most important step, which is sunscreen. So I use the Hawaiian Tropic Weightless Hydration Face Sunscreen. This has SPF 30 in it. I won't lie to you guys. I sometimes forget to apply this every morning, but majority of the time I try my best to apply sunscreen because if you don't apply sunscreen, it's like kind of pointless with your other you know skincare products because the sunscreen is going to protect your face from the sun you know so your other products can do its job so yeah i'm just going to apply that to my face and my neck it doesn't leave a white cast or anything and it's not like super sticky so i really do recommend it I don't know about y'all but for me i love to wear perfume like i don't care if i'm just going to be in the house all day or if i'm going to be going to the gym like whatever i do i always apply, apply perfume the perfume that i'm going to be wearing today is by dossier and i would love to give a big thank you and a big shout out to dossier for sponsoring today's video i am a huge huge fan of dossier and if you are not familiar with dossier dossier is an online based fragrance company that specializes in bringing you guys high in quality inspired perfumes for a fair affordable price they were kind enough to send over four fragrances for me to show you guys in today's video one of which i will show you is my absolute favorite as you guys can see i told you i am obsessed with dossier this is my dossier perfume collection i like to write the names of what is inspired by on the labels on the top part each dossier bottle has a magnetic top and they are 50 milliliter bottles so most of my dossier perfumes can last me up to three months um, just depending on how much I use the fragrance. My fragrance of choice today was Musky Musk. I am obsessed with this and also it does have like the notes on the bottle as well. They do have scents for male and females so make sure you guys check them out. This is Dossier's packaging. I love the packaging. It's super cute. It also does come with a card inside that lets you guys know the notes, what the perfume is inspired by, the concentration, and how Dossier works. So my choice today was Musky must and this perfume is supposed to be inspired by Juliet has a gun not a perfume I really like this fragrance especially straight out of the shower it smells really fresh and lightweight I feel like men and women can actually get away with this scent so I am obsessed I also wanted to show you guys that Dossier does have other products besides perfume they have candles and they also sent me this oil reed diffuser this was my first time trying a reed diffuser from Dossier I've been working with them for a while now um, over on my other channels so this is my first time trying this they actually sent me this one this one is inspired by the tom ford lost cherry on dossier's website it's called ambery cherry and when i tell you guys this makes my room smell so freaking good it also comes with a card to let you know the notes and what it's inspired by the concentration i want to go back on dossier's website and purchase more reed diffusers with my own money i will leave my discount code and the link to dossier down below in case you're interested thank you again to dossier for sponsoring today's video All right, so as I mentioned earlier, I want to start getting into stretching more. I did used to do yoga before I got pregnant. I wasn't like a pro or anything, but I was like just starting to get into yoga and Pilates. And I kind of stopped once I found out I was pregnant because I'm not going to lie. I was a little like nervous to do stretches and stuff at home. So I looked up pregnancy stretches and I'm going to do the first one. I will link it down below. I really enjoyed this video. I think it was about 15 minutes long. The stretches were not hard at all and it was exactly what I needed I'm going to start incorporating this into my everyday morning routine because being in the second trimester things just start aching a little bit more <laughs> and your belly starts to grow so I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy these stretches again I will link this lady's video down below I loved her she was really nice so yeah
After stretching, it was finally time for me to eat. So these are the prenatal gummies that I take. I've been taking them ever since I found out I was pregnant. I am open to trying new ones. I do like these, but they only have one flavor. I think it's like bear, berry flavor or strawberry. And sometimes that flavor can get kind of boring. So I don't know. I might try out some new ones. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. But for the most part, I enjoy taking these. I used to take pre the prenatals at nighttime in the first trimester because I was struggling with nausea but now I'm back to taking my prenatals in the morning time I did not show myself making my breakfast I made myself some blueberry oatmeal and I also made me some bacon now during this time when I'm eating I like to like spend this time to talk to my baby and like check on my pregnancy apps I have a bunch of pregnancy apps you guys I don't just use one here are a few that I use um, one of my favorites is glow I also like pregnancy plus and what to expect so right now I'm in the Glow app. I'm just going to log some information. This is what it looks like when you first open it. And here I'm going to add that I took my prenatal vitamins. I'm also going to add that I did throw up this morning. Sorry if that's TMI, but I'm just going to add everything that I'm feeling and just log it in. This is like my main app where I track like my weight and stuff. So just going to put that in and then from here on I'm just going to flip through different apps. Um, I like to check like the articles. It tells you like each day what to expect while you're pregnant. So I'm just going to read up on that while I'm eating and yeah just spend some time learning and checking on my baby boo. This right here is one of the most important parts of my morning routine and that is spending time with God and reading my word. So this is what my Bible looks like. I believe my Bible is called Young Women After God's Own Heart. I got it from Barnes & Noble. So I like that my Bible has daily devotions and it also has a section where you can read the Bible in a year. It gives you different scriptures to read every single day. So that is what I'm doing. I'm starting all the way from the beginning in Genesis and I'm just going to try my best to read the specific chapters that it gives me a day so yeah I've been really trying to get back into my word I really like reading the word out loud so that way my baby can also soak in the scriptures and the knowledge I'm 15 weeks but according to some articles your baby can actually hear you either way I still like to read out loud this is like the time that I like to spend with God and also my baby so I thoroughly enjoy spending quality time with the Lord after I read my word, I do try my best to worship. I don't always do this part. This is just like if I feel really led to or if I'm just talking with God and the Holy Spirit just takes over. So today I just really wanted to sing out to God and just, you know, give him the glory and the honor that he deserves. So I just spent this time to sing out to him, sing with my baby and just be in God's presence. After being in God's presence, I'm telling you guys, it makes my day 10 times better, I swear. But now I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down. Now, sometimes I take my hair down before I do my makeup and sometimes I don't. It really just depends on my vibe. Today, I wanted to see what my natural curls were giving. I tend to take my hair down more when my hair is in its natural state like this before doing my makeup just because sometimes my hair can take longer for me. It just depends on what it's giving. I'm definitely ready to straighten my hair. I'm going to be straightening my hair soon using updated products and hair tools so you guys will be seeing that video very soon if it's not out already so yeah I'm just gonna shake out my hair see if I need to add anything before doing my makeup On this particular day, I did have to run some errands. About this time when I start getting dressed, it's about 10 30 ish almost 11 i usually take a little while in the morning because i don't have any other children i don't have like a spouse or anything right now so i can take as much time as i need so i'm really cherishing the time that i have in the morning because i know once baby comes it will not always be like this so yeah my mornings are usually pretty drawn out but i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of light makeup I'm see i'm just gonna go ahead and finish getting ready and that is pretty much what i do for my morning routine
right you guys so this is my realistic pregnancy morning routine being in the second trimester I pretty much do like some of the same things every day the only thing new that I've added to my routine is just like stretching I do want to try to stretch more every morning because I am starting to get a few aches and pains so yeah but that is my morning routine now I'm just going to get dressed and start my day I do have some errands to run so I might vlog today I don't know but yeah that is what I do in the morning time I hope that you guys enjoyed also be sure to check out Dossier I will leave their links down below I also do have a discount code so make sure you guys are checking out the description box I am obsessed with Dossier so thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video and yeah, that is the end of my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys do in the morning. What is one of your morning routine staples? I would love to know. And also let me know if I should add something to my morning routine. But yeah, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.